I'm Olivia Cook, I'm 15 years old and I got diagnosed in January 2011 with bone cancer. I, I went in like to my um, A&E because it was over Christmas to start with um, and they just thought I had like cellulitis so I got antibiotics, went home, then went back to my doctors and he said if you were older you'd have DVT because my platelet levels were really high. So then um, he sent me for scans and blood tests and stuff like that. So then they, the, like the next day after he'd sent me to the hospital, I got diagnosed. But just before I got diagnosed, like my mum got told and I was thinking, oh my God, how could I not see this? Like, I was thinking it's a lump, it's, it's got to be cancer because it's something so bad. Like I was kind of imagining the worst and I wasn't expecting it even though I'd kind of thought that. Um, so then I got told and it was just, it was a bit of shell shock really, I just kind of couldn't get used to it to start with and then I kind of had to once chemo had started, didn't really think about it. I was just kind of like a, a normal teenager, I spent a lot of time with my friends and we'd always walk to school and I kind of miss that now because obviously I can't so um, I just, I liked life and I had a lot of fun with my friends, did a lot of climbing and stuff like that. It was a shock, definitely, because when you think of cancer, you think of older people, like grandparents sort of age. So I kind of wasn't expecting it because I, I've heard of babies having it, but I'd never really heard of teenagers. Like I knew it had happened, but it was never something I expected. You kind of just think, well, it's never going to be me, like you do with everything. Um, I had chemotherapy and then I had an amputation the more chemotherapy and then my bone shortened because it had grown and then more chemotherapy and then I finished. Um, well to start with I thought oh my god it can't get much worse than this you know I, I got a stomach bug and then I got a chest infection and whatever and then I started a new chemo which was a trial one and it got worse and I never thought it would be able to get worse than like the first lot so it was it was very tiring and I hated the sickness feeling because I couldn't be sick because there was nothing left. So that kind of, I, I didn't like that bit, it's the worst part. Um, I'm, I'm not able to do everything like my friends can do. I get worn out easy and then like my leg will start to hurt and I'll always be really hot and I, I just kind of like, I look at people and think I'd love to be able to do what, what you can do. like. Even PE, most people sit there and go, God, you're so lucky to not have to do PE. And I kind of sit there and think, no, I'd rather do PE and have two legs than sit out and watch everyone else do it. I'm hoping to be able to be, like, walk for my prom and maybe dance, but I'm not a dancing person anyway. I think I've got two laughy at the best of times. <laughs> um, but I just, I just, just kind of want to walk in and not be able to tell that I've got a prosthesis or anything like that and no stick or crutch or whatever. So that's really good. Um, prom is like the main thing for school people, like school kids, because you always look forward to it. You see it in America and they, they obviously do everything massive there, all big and everything. But like it's kind of celebrating the years you've had with everyone else in your year and just like looking back on the good times because obviously you're going to finish school not long after that. No, I've not had a problem. I'm getting that just after the runway show. So that should be something to look forward to. It's a runway show, as you'd kind of guessed. It was at, a, um, at Manchester Airport on Concord and it's doing prom dresses because that's the theme of the night and it's to raise awareness of teenage cancer and help fund for Teenage Cancer Trust, Make-A-Wish and Medicare, the airport's charity. It's, it's really helpful what they do because like obviously you're not at, at the most comfortable and they make it like a home because you kind of live there for all your treatments. I think I was there more like in the hospital than I ever was outside of it. I lived there for a year and they just made it so comfortable. We had a, a youth worker who had like popcorn and pizza night and um, film night and whatever. It was really good having the work of Teenage Cancer Trust there for you. Um, I'm excited about being able to walk down the runway without a stick or a crutch and just feel like a princess for a night with my lovely dress that I'm going to get in. It'll, it'll be good. 
I'm looking forward to being spoiled Friday. Well, I know. <laughs>